हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द मीन बाय एज्यूम मीन मेथड लुक हियर द क्लास इज गिवन टू अस एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज गिवन टू अस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर हैविंग क्लास सो वी कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द क्लास मार्क दैट इज एक्स आई हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द क्लास मार्क फाइंडिंग द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस टू मींस एडिंग दिस टू एंड डिवाइड बाय टू or directly also we know if if you can solve it directly you can solve otherwise addition of this two will be 35 35 divided by 2 it will be 17.5 then addition of this two 65 divided by 2 it will be 32.5 similarly add and directly find out it's 47.5 and then this will be 62.5 this will be 77.5 and this is 92.5 in simple mean method we are multiplying this fi xi and directly finding the sum of fi xi and the sum of fi and then dividing this is the simple formula x bar is equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi but we are not going to use this why we are not going to use this look here this numbers are big if we will multiply this we will get answer and then we have to add so it will take time and when you are solving this in board exam you have to do it so quickly hurry so you have to use another method that is called assumed mean method means you have to assume a mean out of this look here i had selected six frequency that's why only because generally students are can confused what to take we have to assume this or this if five numbers are there we we are getting the third number as assumed mean but here six are there so generally try to make this as a now what we have to do for finding this numbers were big so we are finding a different xi that is called di and what we are nothing we are doing not much but actually you should know this we are subtracting this assumed mean from all this numbers can we subtract 174.5 minus 47.5 yes it will be minus 30 Then thirty-two point five minus forty-seven point five. You will get minus fifteen. Actually, you will get a pattern. The class win interval is of fifteen. So every time fifteen will be added in this. Now this will be fifteen. This will be thirty, and this will be forty-five. So previously we were multiplying f i x i. Now we had make this number smaller. So now we are going to multiply this f i into d i. This is f i. D, come on, multiply two into minus thirty, it's minus sixty, minus forty-five. Three into fifteen, seven into zero, zero, six, fifteen to six, ninety, six into thirty. We can see one eighty, six into forty-five. It's two seventy. Now we have to do addition of this whole number. And the addition, this are negative and this are positive, so it is one hundred and five. We have to subtract one hundred and five from this positive numbers addition, so it will be four hundred and thirty-five. And then you have to find out f i also. So here f i will be two, five, seven, five, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty. So now what we had done, we had. Uh, make this number smaller. So we what we had done, we had subtract a from all this. So now we are going to add a in our equation. We had subtracted a from all these numbers. So directly we are adding a in this number a plus. Then now we are having this number. So this is sigma f i d i up. This is thirty. That is sigma f i. What we had done actually, we had reduced this by subtracting a, and then we had added that a in our formula. It's so simple. So directly, we will keep the value. A is forty-seven point five plus four thirty-five by thirty. We can divide it. Hmm, so what we will get? So it's three, five, six, and five, eight, forty. It is seven. I think uh, the answer will come in decimal. So it's forty-seven point five plus. Now sixty-eight. So six ones are six. It's twenty-seven. So six fours are twenty-four. Three zero. 
so I think it is 14.5 now we have to add that 50.8 carry 1 8 12 carry 1 5 and 6 it's 62 so the mean is here 62 it's so simple again what we had done we had reduced this number by subtracting a and then we had multiplied and then we, I had added this subtracted a in my formula so I got the same mean if you want to do directly also you can do you will get the same answer but it will take so much time and there are chances you get uh, you make mistake in any of the single number and your whole answer will become wrong so this way we can find the mean by assumed mean method thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you and in my next video i am going to bring you about step deviation method thank you